Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman, and I invite you to roll out your mat and follow along with me in this replay of my live yoga class, a part of the Reset and Recharge Vinyan December series. Now, while you're at it, don't forget to like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And when you're all set, go ahead and roll out your mat and let's get ready to flow. So we will begin sitting in a comfortable seat. Just go ahead and let yourself settle in and start to get comfortable on your mat. Pull in whatever props you might want to use during your practice today. And just set yourself up for success. And as you start to settle into your seat, you can close your eyes for a few moments and start to tune in with your breath. Just allow yourself these first few moments to tune out the distractions, the chatter of the mind. There will always be plenty to think about. But for now, let's turn the awareness inward and let your focus land with you. Feeling your breath, moving in your body, feeling your heart beating in your chest. Allow yourself to become present with whatever sensations you feel. Let's bring our hands to prayer position, bringing the palms to touch in a gesture of gratitude. Let's take a moment here to acknowledge the journey that we have been on this year. We've experienced highs and lows, And we've been forced to evolve and to grow. So honor your journey, giving thanks for where you've been, even through the hard times. And as we lay this year to rest, we open ourselves up to whatever lies beyond the new dawn. And interlace your fingers and turn your palms to the sky. Begin to lift up out of your waist and take a deep breath in. Stretching your palms open wide, feel length and expansion in your body. Then we'll exhale and gently circle your hands down and around. And let your hands rest onto your knees. We'll inhale to lift your heart, open your chest and lift your gaze. Then exhale to curl your belly in and round your spine, tucking your chin to your chest. Then inhale to open it up, extending in your spine. Then we'll exhale to contract, flexing your body forward, stretch your back body. And we inhale, flowing with your breath. 
Feel into your body. Find the edge of the movement, beginning to awaken the areas of your body that are tight. Uh, then at the end of this last exhale, we'll come back to center and begin to circle your spine around. So think about the rib cage leading the movement, making big circles. You can move at your own pace. Just let it feel good in your body as you circulate and big undulations. And when you're ready, we can begin to reverse directions and start to move the circle the other way. Just notice what changes, notice what's different, finding more and more range of motion as you continue to flow. And we'll slowly make your way back to center Whew, nice and easy just bringing it back to a close then walk your hands forward and fold over your legs reach your fingertips forward as you relax your head down towards the floor breathe into your body whatever sensations you feel in this gentle forward fold Expand through your breath, deep inhale, and see if you can sink a little deeper with your soft exhale. Walk your hands back in and begin to make your way to your tabletop. So we'll come over your legs and start to make your way onto your hands and knees. And as you come into your tabletop, we're gonna make some big circles here. You can start by reaching your heart forward, then all the way around from one side to the other. It doesn't really matter which way you go. We're gonna do both sides. So just working that circular movement. Notice what you feel in the hips, in the shoulders, in your spine. Then we'll slowly begin to reverse, moving in the opposite direction. So letting yourself find that flow, circling the body around. Notice what feels different from one side to the other. Then we'll slowly bring it back to center, coming back to your tabletop. Then walk your hands out in front of you making your way into puppy pose. Now, if you want to open your hands a little wider toward the edges of your mat, that can give you a little more access if your shoulders are very tight. If you wanna get a deeper stretch, then we bring the hands closer together and start to lift your chin towards the floor. Wherever you are in this pose, take another deep breath in and soften into the stretch with your exhale, letting your heart melt towards the earth. And then gently walk your hands back in and press yourself up. Then we're going to twist in your spine, we'll inhale to open. Right arm reaches high, opening through the right side body. Then exhale and gently weave that right arm under, bringing your head and shoulder all the way down. Then press your left hand into the mat, rolling your left shoulder back. We get a deeper rotation in your spine really working that spiral. Lean into the stretch to access the space behind your right shoulder blade. We wanna stretch those rhomboids. And we'll slowly begin to unwind, pressing against the earth, 
lift and open your right fingertips back up towards the sky. Then gently float your right hand back down and we'll prepare for the second side. So when you're ready, we'll open your left fingertips high, twisting through that left side, stretch. And then exhale and gently weave it under, bringing the shoulder all the way down to the floor. Press your right hand into the mat and roll the right shoulder back, deepening the rotation in your spine and accentuating the stretch behind your left shoulder blade. So just make those little micro adjustments, leaning into the pose, find your deepest stretch. Then we'll slowly begin to unwind, making your way back up. We'll open those left fingertips all the way back up to the sky. Then exhale and gently release, left hand coming back down to the floor. Then let's tuck your toes under and start to lift your hips, pressing into your down dog. We'll start to pedal out the feet. So let yourself move slowly and intentionally here, really working to open up the backs of the legs, stretching the connections around your knees and your ankles, just giving yourself permission to move in your down dog and just explore what's going on in your body today. And we'll start to settle into stillness, making your way into an active fully embodied downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in and exhale a deep breath out. And inhale and lift your right leg up towards the sky. Then exhale and step your right foot forward. And try to make your way into a lunge. Then we'll inhale and rise, extending your fingertips high. Then exhale and float your hands back down to the floor. And we'll sweep the right leg high on your inhale, coming right back into that tripod. Exhale to release the right foot down. Take a full round of breath in your down dog. Full breath in and a full breath out. Then we'll inhale and extend the left heel up towards the sky. One little movement with each breath. Let's exhale to step the foot forward. Set yourself up for a lunge, then we'll inhale and rise, reaching up as high as you can, then exhale and release, hands coming back down to the earth. Inhale as you extend your left leg back up towards the sky, then exhale and gently float your left foot back down. Take a full round of breath. In and out. And we'll slowly begin to walk your feet forward towards the front of your mat. Just let it go slow. You can take just one step at a time, making that mindful journey towards the top of your mat. Then let's begin to shift side to side, exploring the space behind your legs. So don't worry about right or wrong. Just move and feel and breathe. <sighs> and we'll gently make your way back to stillness, folding forward over your legs. Grab a hold of your ankles and pull yourself forward towards your shins. 
So just guiding yourself into a little deeper fold. And then bend into your knees, a nice deep seat. And then bring your hands up onto your knees, press into your arms and lift up out of your shoulders. So we wanna find a sense of lift, extending the neck and the head up towards the sky as you sink your hips down. Now let your tailbone go back and lift your belly button in towards your spine. Then walk your hands a little further up your legs and press your heart up a little higher. So you can stay right here for a breath you can extend your arms out in front of you or start to extend your fingertips all the way towards the sky. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna stand all the way up. Bring your hands to prayer position. Coming to stand, we'll take a full round of breath in and out. All right, so we're feeling that awakening, that energy waking up in the legs. We're gonna just build a little more heat here in the legs. So we'll inhale and circle your arms up. Nice big inhale. Then as you exhale, gently fold forward, coming into that fold, relax your head and shoulders down. Okay, I lost my little microphone, poof. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> From here, rotate your heels in towards each other. So we get a little rotation in the legs and you'll start to feel a deeper stretch along the back of the hip and down the backs of the legs. Now, as you inhale your breath, we're going to sink your hips, lift your heels, and lift your heart. That's the inhale. As you exhale, you'll lift your hips and fold over your legs. Breath out. Breath in. Sink your hips. Lift your heart. Lift your head. And then exhale. Lift your hips and fold over your legs. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. We'll go one more time. Inhale into your squat. Then exhale to fold your body down. Then rotate your heels back to parallel. So bringing the feet parallel to each other. Let's inhale and lift your spine halfway up extending through the crown. We'll exhale and fold all the way back down over your legs. Then inhale to lift, extend through your spine, bend into your left knee and open your right fingertips to the sky. Inhale here in your twist, then exhale and release folding back down over your legs. Then we inhale to lift, extend through your spine, bend into the right knee as you exhale and start to open the left fingertips high. Inhale here, leaning into the twist, then we'll exhale and gently release, folding back down over your legs. Plant your hands on your mat and step your feet back to your plank pose. Nice, strong plank pose. Hug your belly up and in, toning the strength of your core. Then let's rock forward and back a few times, massaging your wrists and your ankles as you shift from front to back. And then we're gonna come back to stillness, coming back to center here. We're gonna do a few of those lizard crawls, bringing your right knee to your right tricep. Then let's step the right foot back. Then we go left, 
knee to tricep, then step it back. Right, back, left, back. Again, right, step it back, left, and back. Two more cycles, right and back, left and back. Last one, we've got it. Right knee, step it back, left knee, step it back. Now press yourself up and back into your downward facing dog and find three deep breaths. Of course, child's pose is always an option whenever you need that deeper rest. All right, feeling good, feeling awakened by now. Let's inhale and lift your right heel up towards the sky. So if you're in your child's pose, come on back to down dog and extend the right leg up. Then we'll step that right foot forward, coming back into that lunge. Whew. Tone and stabilize through the strength of your legs. Then we'll inhale and rise to your high lunge. Reach your fingertips high. As you hug your belly in, take a big full inhale right here. Then we'll exhale and spin your left heel down, opening out into your warrior two pose. Sinking deep into that right leg. Bringing your thigh parallel to the mat. Lift your belly up and in as you extend your fingertips long. Then rotate your right palm to the sky and we'll reach up and back, reversing your warrior pose. Stretch through your right side body. Then slowly make your way back into your warrior position and we'll lift the hips, extending your right leg long. Let's take a deep breath in, lifting up through the crown of your head. Then as you exhale, glide your right fingertips forward, stretching your side body long. Then we'll gently float your right hand to your ankle or your shin and open your left fingertips to the sky. Take some deep breaths here in your triangle pose, finding aliveness, full embodiment, full awakening, in the pose. Take one more inhale here, really open through the chest. Then we'll exhale and release your left hand down to the floor. So spin your left heel to the mat and we're gonna open your right fingertips to the sky, revolving in your pyramid pose. Working your way into the IT band, feeling that stretch, we say yes, and allow for the sensation to be fully felt. Take one more inhale here, twisting your heart open, and we'll exhale and release your right hand to the floor. Bow forward over your right leg and just take some deep, slow breaths. So find a little softness here in this stretch. Find a sense of surrender and ease. Then we'll press your hands into the mat Inhale your breath and begin to extend that right leg up and back. And then gently float the right foot all the way back down to the floor and take a full round of breath in your down dog. Feel what you feel. Breathing in and out. Then we'll inhale and lift the left heel high, making our way onto the second side. We reach it up, 
then exhale and step on through bringing that left foot forward you'll make your way into a lunge tone the strength of your legs as you inhale you will rise and as you exhale you settle into your pose hug your belly up and in inhale and reach up out of your waist and then as you exhale we'll spin the right heel down opening into your warrior pose hug your belly up and in lifting up out of your waist as you lunge into that left leg and then flip your left palm to the sky reach up and back arcing through the left side body feeling yourself open and expand then slowly make your way back to your warrior two and we'll lift the hips extending through your left leg again we inhale to lift up out of your waist then exhale and begin to glide your fingertips forward reaching out towards the front edge of your mat and then eventually you reach the edge and the left hand comes down as the right hand goes high finding your way into this strong stable triangle pose fully awake fully engaged fully present in your pose take one more inhale and find your edge then we'll exhale and release your right hand down spin your right heel to the sky then we'll open the left fingertips revolving your shape we go right into the IT band and outer hip slow steady breath one breath at a time allow yourself to be present with whatever arises take one more full inhale take it to your edge then exhale and release the left hand back down and just fold forward here over your left leg in a moment of surrender and letting go allowing for the stretch to happen allowing for your breath to flow allowing yourself to slow down here and press your hands firmly into the mat and as you're ready you can inhale and sweep that left leg back up towards the sky find that full extension at the top of the breath then exhale and release the left foot comes back down to the floor take a full round of breath here or in your child's pose we'll take three full breaths so you have some time to normalize regulate come back to center and we'll slowly begin to make your way back to the top of your mat you can walk or take one big step or feel free to hop if that's a part of your practice and as you exhale your breath just fold deeply down over your legs relaxing through your neck let the head be heavy and hang then we'll slowly bend into your knees and bring your hips down towards the floor Whew, feeling good let's wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little hug because you're awesome and you're doing a great job and we're just going to spend the next 30 minutes doing abs <sighs> just kidding <laughs> just the next three minutes <laughs> how about that <laughs> place your feet flat on the floor <laughs> and place your hands to the mat behind you
Okay, we're gonna press into the earth to lift and lengthen your spine, then gently rock back on your hips, letting your feet float up away from the floor. Yes, we're gonna inhale here, big deep breath in. And as you exhale, stretch your body long, going low boat. Then we inhale and rise, hug it in. Exhale, reach it long, low boat. Inhale, hug it in. Again, exhale, stretch. Inhale, contract. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, squeeze it in. We're gonna do one more. Reach and hug it in. Wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little break. Maybe give yourself a little wiggle because you're doing great. All right, then we are going to row the boat. So we'll start out the same way. Feet flat, hands down, press into the mat, lift and lengthen your spine, then rock back and lift the feet. Try to keep your spine long. Now you can do this with hands to the floor or you can do this with hands at your heart. Either way, we wanna keep the chest lifted. Okay, then we twist. Extend the left knee, twist to the right, then we switch. Right to left, left to right. You've got it. So we're just gonna alternate here. Go at your own pace, but make sure that you have integrity, really working the abs. Lift up through your chest, keep the spine long. We're alternating here for five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest, let it relax. Pat yourself on the back, you're doing a great job. All right, and let's go ahead and come down onto your back. You can bring your arms and hands with you uh, and bring, obviously bring your arms and hands with you, <laughs> but bring your knees into your chest with you, <laughs> curling into a little ball here. You can massage your spine, gently rocking side to side. Ah, okay. We're going to do Eagle crunches again today. So cheers. <laughs> It's just so good. It gets everything all at once and it only takes us like 15 seconds. So we're gonna do it, okay? All right, let's cross the right leg over the left knee. If you can hook the ankle around, that's great. If not, it's no problem. Okay, then we bring the right arm under, left arm over. And then you either bring the backs of the hands or wrap at the forearms, bring the hands to touch. So either way. Okay, we're gonna try and crisscross the elbows. Now, curl your head and shoulders off the mat. Inhale, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Coordinating with the breath. As you inhale, you're gonna reach your body long. So the inhale is the stretch. Expand, then exhale and squeeze it into center. Inhale, reach your body long. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Two more. Reach and hug it in. Last time, reach it long and squeeze it in. Then unwind, hug your knees into your chest. Take a couple breaths here and reset. Okay, we're gonna get ready for the second side, but just give yourself a moment to recover in between. Okay, then we'll prepare and set up for the left. Going left leg on top and left arm on bottom, right? So the left knee and the left elbow are closest to each other. All right, then we'll just start by curling your head and shoulders up. We start with the lift. Then inhale to stretch your body long and exhale to squeeze it into center. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Two more, stretch and squeeze. Last one, reach and 
squeeze and unwind. Hug your knees in. Let your belly relax. Ah, feeling so good. Feeling so proud of yourself for your hard work. Ah, as you come back to stillness, we're going to extend your legs straight up towards the sky. We're gonna be here in legs up the wall. I'm also gonna give you the option to move into shoulder stand. So if that's your jam and you wanna get into shoulder stand, then uh, you can begin to lift your hips away from the floor, catch your low back with your hands, stabilize and support the weight of your pelvis and begin to extend your legs straight up to the sky from there. If you're in your shoulder stand, lift your chin away from your chest so there's no pressure crunching on the back of your neck. And press down with your triceps, engaging the strength of your chest and shoulders. If you're in legs up the wall, stack your ankles over your hips so you're using the minimal amount of effort in this legs up the wall pose. Then we'll slowly begin to draw your knees back down towards your chest. Even if you're in shoulder stand, hug your knees in and slowly begin to unroll your spine back down to the floor. Then we'll just rock side to side as the feet, as the blood rushes back into your feet. You may feel a nice warming or tingling sensation. So that's good, fresh, clean, oxygenated blood circulating into your feet and your ankles and your lower legs. It's good stuff. All right, we're going to bring the soles of your feet down to the floor. You can extend your arms down by your sides. Walk your heels in towards your sitting bones and just feel that your feet are parallel to each other. We're going to turn the palms of your hands down onto the mat. And as you inhale your breath, begin to stand into your legs and lift your hips away from the floor, opening through the fronts of your hips and the front of your tummy as you stand into the strength of your legs and slowly begin to unroll your spine back down onto the floor, coming back to neutral. Then we lift again. You can inhale and begin to curl the hips up standing into the strength of your legs, lifting your hips as high as you can, coming to the top of your breath. Let's exhale and slowly lower. Nice and easy with control. We're coming back down to the floor. We'll go one more cycle like this. Inhale to lift all the way to the top of the breath, to the top of the pose. Then we exhale and slowly lower, letting it roll back down to the earth. And just gently rock your knees side to side. Just a nice, easy rocking motion, just kind of letting yourself relax a little bit here. Ah, all right, then we're gonna cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. So we're setting up for reclining pigeon pose. So we'll hug your left knee in towards your chest. You can wrap your hands around that left leg and start to squeeze it in towards your chest as you simultaneously Press your right knee open towards the side. So we can even start to move this shape 
gently, slowly rocking from right to left. And just notice how that little change in the movement offers you a new experience. And if you come across a place that feels particularly good to stretch, let yourself be there. Soak it up and enjoy. All right, from here, we'll cross your right knee all the way over your left leg. So we're taking it into a deeper cross. Then open your arms to the sides and let your knees fall to the left, letting yourself settle in here to your reclining twist. So we're gonna take about three full breaths right here, letting yourself start to loosen up. Let each exhale take you a little deeper into this release. And then I'm gonna give you an option for getting a little deeper into this twist, but it's completely optional. You can stay right where you are and just love it. It's great. If you wanna incorporate a little bit more stretch into your experience, you can extend your right leg off to that left side, reach down with your left hand and take a hold of the right foot. Then you can bend your left knee back behind you reach down with the right hand and take a hold of the top of your left foot. So you have a little bit more activity in the twist. So now we're accessing a stretch along the right IT band and the left quads and hip flexors. Still rolling the right shoulder open. We maximize the twist in your spine. Wherever you are in this pose, take a full breath in. And exhale a full breath out. And slowly begin to make your way back to center. Nice and easy, reset your spine, hug your knees into your chest and relax. Then we'll set up for our reclining pigeon on the left side. So just start by crossing your left ankle over your right knee, then hugging that right knee in as you press the left knee open towards the side. So we start to work into that hip stretch and you can incorporate some gentle movement. It could be so subtle it's almost imperceptible. Allow yourself to go inward. Journey within. Feeling into that stretch. We're going to move a little deeper into the twist by crossing your left knee all the way over the right leg. You can open your arms out to the sides and gently lower your knees to the right. Letting yourself soften in this twist, just taking it one breath at a time. 
feeling your body slowly respond to each inhale and exhale. Now, you can stay here or you can take that deeper variation by extending your left leg off to that right side, taking your right hand and holding on to the right foot or to the left foot with your right hand. Then you can bend the right knee under and reach down with the left hand, to grab a hold of the top of the foot. So now we have even more action inside the twist. And it's totally up to you to decide what's a yes, what's a no, and what's just right for your pleasure, for your relaxation and your enjoyment in this pose. When you're ready, we'll slowly begin to unwind, gently releasing and making your way back to center. Hug your knees into your chest and gently rock yourself side to side, feeling that opening through your hips, through your low back and spine. Ah, yes. Then we're going to come into happy baby. Reaching your hands between your knees, take a hold of the outer edges of your feet. Begin to open the soles of your feet towards the sky, stacking your ankles over your knees, then using the strength of your hands to drive your knees down towards the earth. So working your way into that deep inner hip stretch you can begin to rock gently side to side and see how that movement feels in your body you can even play around with extending your heels further apart increasing the stretch just give yourself a little permission to play here. Just explore in your body and see what you feel. Notice what feels good and let yourself indulge in that space. Staying connected to your slow and intentional breathing. Ah, then we'll slowly begin to resolve the movement coming back towards center. Let's bring the soles of your feet together and interlace your hands around the outer edges of your feet. Bending into your knees, start to pull your toes down towards your nose. And you could even Start to curl your head and shoulders off the mat and see if you can touch your toes to the crown of your head. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, we find a good deep stretch and slowly hug your knees back down into your chest. Give yourself a little smile and a little chuckle. <laughs> Because it's fun to play in your body with no need for a specific outcome. It just feels good to be alive, to move and to explore the boundaries of this beautiful body that you have. And gently lower your feet down to the mat and we'll open your knees out to the sides. Coming into a Supta Baddha Konasana, reclining, bound angle pose. Let your knees relax down towards the earth. 
Then bring your arms up over your head, softly bending into your elbows. Let one hand rest into the other and let your elbows relax down towards the earth, feeling your chest and shoulders stretch. And we're going to take some time to be in this pose. So I invite you to take your awareness deep into the subtle realms of your perception. Let yourself go deeply inward and tune in to the sensations in your hips. and your glutes and your low back and your shoulders and your chest inviting a deep sense of presence and awareness in this pose. Feel your breath moving in and out. And enjoy this time to be present in your body. We'll take a couple more breaths here. See how much you can soften and let go. And when you feel complete, we'll slowly start to extend your legs out in front of you. Now, before we go into our complete relaxation, Circle your arms down by your sides and prop yourself up on your forearms. So we're just going to come into this little supported position with your elbows lined up underneath your shoulders, right? And then we'll turn the palms of your hands down. As you inhale your breath, Press your forearms into the mat and begin to lift up out of your chest, rising your heart towards the sky. Softly let your head recline back, feeling a stretch across the front of your throat. Press into the earth to lift up through your chest. Feel that stretch at the front of your neck. And slowly begin to lower yourself back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Curl your head and shoulders away from the floor. <coughs> and squeeze yourself into a tiny little ball. Squeeze nice and tight. And as you draw your next inhale, let's just stretch your body long. Reach your toes out in front of you. Reach your arms overhead. And then exhale and curl it back into a little ball. Squeeze your body tight. Then again, let's inhale, stretch your body long. 
then exhale and squeeze it in. And we'll go one more time like this. Inhale, reach and stretch. And then exhale and squeeze it in. Now squeeze really tight. Squeeze your feet, squeeze your legs, squeeze your bum, squeeze your belly, squeeze your back, your arms, your hands, your chest, your whole face. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. Extending your legs out in front of you. Let your body relax on your mat. And just make whatever little adjustments will help you to be the most comfortable. And just tune in to that deep feeling of unwinding. Let yourself drop right into that state of relaxation and release. Just unwinding any remaining areas of tension. Feel your body grounding into the earth. It's completely surrendered. Feeling yourself completely supported. With each exhale, feel yourself letting go more and more and more. Enjoy this time of stillness. Just taking a few more rounds of breath here. Just letting go more and more and more with each exhale. Slowly begin to take in a full, deep inhale and pause at the top of your breath, feeling that 
fullness. See if you can take in just a little more air. Then exhale slowly and deeply all the way to the bottom of the breath until there's no more air in your lungs. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently reawakening your body. Beginning to awaken your feet, your hands, your knees and your elbows. And let's stretch your whole body long, a morning stretch, reach. Then gently roll yourself over to one side. And in your own time, you can begin to press yourself up, coming into a gentle seat. Settle into this nice, easy seat. You can just close your eyes for a moment and ah, feel where this journey has taken you. The journey of this practice. The journey of this year. Thank yourself for engaging in your self-care practices, to keep yourself sane, to keep yourself healthy and grounded. Thank yourself for taking these appropriate measures to ensure that you are your best self no matter what life throws your way. Bringing your hands back to that prayer position, a gesture of gratitude and thanksgiving. Let your heart be filled with thanks wherever it can. Thank yourself, thank the universe, thank your family, whomever, whatever you are thankful for. Feel that gratitude in abundance. I thank you for the opportunity to get to know you through this online portal, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to connect with you in this way through our practice. Thank you for being a part of my extended family. I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Namaste.